everyone. 欢迎大家收看成长汉语 Welcome back to another episode of Growing Up with Chinese. We hope that through the eyes of Mike and Xiaoming, our favorite high school students, getting a good foundation in basic Chinese and having fun in the process. Now, last time we heard a good recap of Mike and Xiaoming's day at school. They certainly seemed to be happy that it was finally over. So, what does the rest of their day have in store for them? Well, let's check in with them and find out. Ah, ma, we're back. Ah, ma, we're back. Ah, ma, we're back. 哎呀，您自己看吧。明天下午两点，召开家长会。什么事儿？哎，老王，明天下午学校有家长会，你去吧。明天？哎呦，明天下午我要参加一个非常重要的会议。你又有事儿啊？每次开家长会，你都有重要会议。没办法，我还要讲话呢。李红，你去吧。我也有我的工作。啊。哎呀妈，爸爸让您去，您就去吧。而且妈，我想让您去。你想让我去？是不是犯错误了？没有没有，这个您放心。哼，你呀、啊。喂，是张经理吧？你好，我是李红。我明天下午想请一会儿假，我要去学校给孩子开家长会。嗯，好的，好的。家长会一结束，我就回公司。哦，那太不好意思了。好，好，谢谢您，再见，老王。我下午四点还有一个会呢，开完家长会，我还要回公司。嗯，我就说嘛，还是我的老婆大人有办法。<笑>小明 s parents certainly had a lot to say today. There was quite a bit of new vocabulary in today's clip, but I bet you could all tell that there was an argument of sorts taking place. So what was it about? Let's break it down a bit and find out exactly what's going on. 明天下午两点召开家长会 Parent-teacher conferences are being held at two tomorrow afternoon. 召开 means to hold, as in to hold talks or to hold a meeting. 家长会 is the proper term for a parent-teacher conference. So, 明天下午两点召开家长会 is tomorrow afternoon at two. Parent-teacher conferences are being held. Parent 通知给您。这什么、啊？哎呀，您自己看吧。明天下午两点，召开家长会。哎，老王，明天下午学校有家长会，你去吧。It's clear from the use of ba in this sentence that Xiao Ming's mom wants her husband to go. Now, what I want to point out here is how Xiao Ming's mom addresses her husband. She says. Lao Wang, Lao on its own means old, so she's saying old Wang. 
Now, that might sound a little bit funny to all of you. I mean, since when does a wife call her husband Old Wong, right? But in China, it's perfectly acceptable to refer to someone like this. Old functions really kind of like a title, and it's one of respect, but only with people you know well, and they have to be older than you. Some kids will actually call their fathers Lao Ba, Old Dad. It's a term of endearment, really. Pretty cool, huh? What's up? Hey, Lao Ba. Tomorrow morning, there's a parent meeting. You go. Tomorrow? Oh. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to attend a very important meeting. You have something to do. Every time I attend a parent meeting, you have important meetings. No problem. I have to speak. Li Hong, you go. I also have my work. Oh, mom. Dad wants you to go. You go. And mom, I want you to go. You want me to go? You want me to go? Is it a mistake? No, no. Take care of this. Hmm. You. I want to ask you to ask for a leave of absence. Ask for a leave of absence. Ask for a leave of absence. Or to ask for some time off. Remember, yi huar denotes a short while. So, 我明天下午想请一会儿假 means I'd like to ask for some time off tomorrow afternoon. 我要去学校给孩子开家长会. 开 is a verb, and in this context, it means to hold, 开会, to have or hold a meeting, 开家长会. To have or to hold a parent-teacher conference. So, 我要去学校给孩子开家长会 means I have to go to school for my child's parent-teacher conference. 喂, 是张经理吧? 你好, 我是李红. 我明天下午想请一会儿假. 我要去学校给孩子开家长会. 嗯, 好的，好的。家长会一结束，我就回公司。All right, that just about wraps up today's general overview of the dialogue. Now it's time to get into some specifics. First up, let's take a look at today's vocabulary list. It's not too long, so don't worry. 召开 hold, convene. 召开重要 important. 重要。家长会 ，parent teacher conference。家长会。工作 ，work。job。career。工作。错误 ，mistake。error。wrongdoing。错误。放心 ，set one's mind at rest。rest assured。Have confidence. 放心。办法 ，way, means, measure, approach. 办法。Our radical for the day is a very common one. It's the roof radical, 宝盖头 and we see it in the character for house or family, 家 So let's take a look at this character. All right, so that's our character, jia. Now, it makes sense that house or family would have a roof radical, doesn't it? Okay, so our radical is the bao gai tou. That's the roof radical. And this component down here, actually, is a character, and it's also a radical. It's the literary term for pig. Although these days, people don't use it very much um, when they refer to pigs. Pigs are now called Zhu. But in any case, we've got a pig under a roof. Now, historically, domesticated pigs were free to come in and out of many parts of a farmer's house. So the composition of this character gives it a lot of its meaning. Today, we've seen the word jia used in the context of qing jia, to ask for a leave of absence. But jia on its own can mean holiday. 
And so we thought it might be fun to spotlight some more traditional Chinese holidays, as there are many we have yet to cover and many legends associated with them that we haven't really had the chance to talk about. And to start with, we'll go with my favorite, Spring Festival or Chinese New Year. <laughs> Chinese, Guo Nian means to pass the new year. Nian, we know, is the general word for year, but in fact, Nian has another meaning. It's a scary, horned, demon like animal. I'm serious. Now, according to Chinese legend, every year at Chinese New Year, the Nian would come out of hiding and wreak havoc in villages, eating people's livestock and anyone unfortunate enough to be outside. So, what to do? After consulting many wise sages, people discovered that the Nian was afraid of the color red, loud noises, and bright flashes of light. Can you see where I'm going with this? Indeed! It is said that this is where the tradition of setting off fireworks and firecrackers and wearing red comes from. All these elements would frighten the Nian away, leaving everyone in peace. So the term Guo Nian, which is now used to refer to celebrating the holiday of Spring Festival, actually grew out of passing the night safely, where the demon Nian would otherwise cause chaos. Pretty cool, huh? Today we're introducing a language concept that we don't really have in English, but you find it quite frequently in Chinese. Xing jia, to ask for a leave of absence. This is a good example of this concept. Xing jia is a verb object separable word. Now basically what this means is that this word can be separated. And when it is, we see a verb and an object. Qing can stand on its own, right? It means to ask, a verb. And jia can stand on its own too. It means holiday, vacation, or a leave of absence, an object. Now, when they're combined, you get the word to ask for a leave of absence, qing jia. Xiaoming, jintian zhen mei lai? Ta jintian qing jia le. Xiaoming, jintian mei lai? Ta yu qing jia le ma? Dui, ta qing le liang tian jia. Here's one that's not so hard, yao. Yao is the verb want. Yao can also function as a helping verb, meaning need, should, or will. Now we see it as a helping verb in today's context with 我要去学校. I need to go to school. 要去, need to go. Let's look at some more examples. Mike, 走, 出去玩. 不行, 我要给我妈妈打电话. 兰兰, 你这是要去哪儿? 哦, 我要去到图书馆. Now here's a pattern that's very useful to know. 一 something, 就 something. This is a pattern that implies that as soon as the first action or situation is over, another action or situation will take place. So, 家长会一结束,我就回公司. As soon as the parent-teacher conference is over, I will come back to the company. Here are some more examples. Mike, 小明呢? 他一见到兰兰的电话就出去了. 这个小孩子为什么一见你就笑? 我也不知道. Okay, everyone, that just about wraps up today's show. We've covered a lot of ground in 15 minutes, and now it's time to let everything settle. Now, please do not forget to send us any questions or comments you might have. 我想知道你们在想什么. I want to know what you're all thinking. Good luck with your studies, Chinese studies included. 加油大家, see you all next time. 再见.